your first impressions on the road it's just weird the bike feels like it's sort of squirreling around a bit but you know as if you've got um, super high profile treads which I know they are but I mean even deeper than than what they are and it, the bike just seems to um, squish around yeah it feels a bit weird it's going to take me a while to get my confidence with these tyres I think especially given the fact that the last tyres I had on the bike were the um, Avon Trail Riders which are they're a super smooth tyre to ride I mean totally hopeless on lanes on back lanes I'm sort of hoping the bike just makes it feel a lot more agile from side to side but it is a little bit disconcerting when you first get on it when you're not used to riding knobbly tires like these it's a little bit disconcerting because you don't you don't anticipate that oh wow it makes the steering feel different and the way the bike tips is just it just wants to tip immediately into bends yeah it does feel odd I am getting some road noise from them at the moment but what, uh, what I have to remember is that I've not got my earplugs in which I normally do wear so uh, no earplugs I'm sure it's the tyres that's causing that road, road noise we'll see when we get onto the uh, long straight road in a minute it's just that initial you know first first off out of the box new on the bike the bike just it's very eager to turn in I'm used to sort of a neutral turn in you don't you never have to fight this bike to turn into a corner even on the Avons you didn't have to fight it you just had to let the bike well I mean if you lent into a corner you didn't have to counter steer here I feel like I'm sort of having to put steer on in the opposite direction almost because it's so eager to turn in oh yeah you can hear a definite whine it's quite distinct yeah at higher speeds you can definitely hear a tyre whine on the road but again it's not bad it really isn't that bad the thing that's making me more concerned at the minute is the way the bike handles in bends I think uh, well I, I mean let's face it I am scrubbing the tyres in for 80 miles as well so um, so you'd expect a little bit of well, probably different behaviour from the tyres until they're properly bedded in they don't feel bad at all they, you know it tracks well in a corner once you're into the corner it is uh, keen to get into the corner but it does seem to track well in the corner oh yeah it does it does feel a bit squirrely I have to say it tracks well on those you know virtually non-existent bends but um, when you lean it over a little bit it feels odd to a non knobbly person so like I say this is my first set of knobblies might be my last set of knobblies as well if it's this strange to ride well if I don't get on with them I mean where is it here it is Let's uh, stick her into a different mode. Urban, let's have a bit of gravel. Let's have a bit of gravel. Didn't 
didn't know they'd re-quarry stone this lane. God, this stuff's hard to ride. Chuffing it. Pushes your bike around all over the place, this stuff does. Ooh, Jesus. God, that was tough. Not the introduction I wanted. <laughs> Christ. Well, that was um, a little bit disconcerting when I first got on. Um, the tyres do squirrel around quite a lot. I mean, if you look at the profile of them, it's quite a uh, aggressive tyre. I've, I've not ridden knobbly tyres like this before. So to me, this is all a bit of a learning experience. Um, I mean, they suit the bike so well, don't they? They do look really pretty good on the bike. They tip into the corners. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was a neutral tip in before. On the Avon Trail Riders, it was, a, it was a neutral tip into a bend. You didn't have to do anything. You just tipped the bike in. The bike was very predictable. It went exactly where you wanted it to go. Um, with these, you go to tip into a corner and it just wants to go. Well, I'm scrubbing them in as well. I mean, let's face it, I'm scrubbing them in. I, I don't want to lean it into bends at the moment. I don't have any confidence on them at the moment. Um, <laughs> it's difficult, isn't it? I mean, what do you do? I've, I've spent 250 quid on two new tires. I'm not gonna have them taken off straight away just because they're making me feel a little bit uncomfortable. I've got to try and get used to them. These are the tires that are going to PCOS as well. So uh, I've got to get used to them. Uh, I just came down this bit and there's these huge quarry stones on it and this is all new they're, they're they're big and they're loose you know they're all sort of hand-sized pieces like that all the way down the lane this is not so bad here it's quite shallow but further up the lane they've obviously just tipped uh, trailer loads thankfully because I, I, I mean, the last time I came down this lane, it was it was more like this. So it was it was rideable trail like this. I felt far more comfortable on this stuff because um, it's packed in, you know, with the mud now. I honestly thought a couple of times coming down that bit, it was the bike was moving around that much underneath me. I mean, I, I sort of quite like that, but not to that extent. The the amount it was moving around, it was uh, a bit nerve wracking. I did mean to say actually, um, so Wild Bad Gaz, Gaz Bacon, um, he's fitted some Metzler Carew 3s to his GS. I wanted the Metzler Carew 3s before um, and I couldn't get them. Um, they're being phased out, I didn't know that at the time, but they're being phased out. So then I went for the uh, Dunlop Trail Max Mission um, and I phoned Demon Tweaks and said, when's my order going to be? it had been a week I think since I ordered them and I'd not heard anything and I said oh they're, they're not going to be until the end of August which is which is no good I need them now because my tire my rear tire was less than one mil uh, by last weekend so the lady said uh, I'll put you through to our uh, buy-in department uh, sales department and they should probably be able to sort you out with another set so I spoke to this guy there who wins customer service award for this year in my opinion he was absolutely brilliant adam his name is at demon tweaks so adam if you ever get to watch this video thanks so much mate because um you did a sterling job for me and then he came back on the phone to me within 20 minutes and said um mate i've got you some uh, metzler carew fours so i was just over the moon I went, brilliant let's try them then uh, i needed tires um the metzler carew threes were unavailable so the metzler carew fours have got to be better right yet to be proven but I, I've got no I've got no history with the Metzler Carew 3s either just the Metzler Carew Street which I thought I thought were pretty good tyre they didn't seem to last that brilliantly though they were, they were only good for about four and a half thousand miles I think that's going to be the case with these as well because uh, it's quite a soft compound yeah so it'd be interesting to see how Gaza's Metzler Carew 3s 
perform against my Metzler Carew 4s, you know, on two similar weighted bikes. God, I'm so out of shape on these hills with the off-roading. So out of shape with the off-roading. Jesus. Yeah, I've made my bike feel weird. <laughs> this is going to be a whole new learning experience for me, isn't it? Especially the road bit. Man, that's weird. That is so weird. I'm telling you, I'm feeling all at sea on this at the moment. New tyres and doing the off-road stuff, which I am just not used to. I think uh, I just need to take my time, try and dial myself back into doing this sort of madness. That's normally flooded there. It just shows we've had so little rain in the UK. I know we've had some showers and stuff, and some heavy showers at times, but it's not been enough. No. I dare say the farmers are moaning, let's put it that way. Sorry, I, I, I can't talk and concentrate on this at the same time. It is, um, <laughs> it's demanding my full attention. If you require assistance, please press your buzzer and one of the cabin crew will be along to... Uh, I don't know, give you a massage or something. Ooh, that'd be nice. Yes! Yes! God, there's so much grip on those tyres. Try and spin the back wheel up and it just pushes you ahead. So I think, probably off-road wise, they are giving me more confidence. It's hard to say because I've not done off-roading for so long. For the on-road stuff, uh, I think that's going to be a different kettle of fish. Whatever that means. Someone asked me yesterday what uh, waffling means. Because at the end of my um, video on the, what was I, on the GS, I said that I apologise for it being a bit of a waffle fest. And he said, what's a waffle fest? I think he thought it was a festival of waffles. It's not that. Stones be lane, sink them up.
I do like these tank pads, these Honda tank pads. You can grip onto the tank with your knees. If you've not got any, I think they're worth the investment. That's one thing I meant to tell you actually. Uh, I don't know whether you've seen it, probably you have. So Boothie from um, 44 Teeth, uh, if you don't know already, he's had a, he had a really bad crash at the TT. He's lost uh, the lower half of his left leg and he's in and out of hospital constantly for surgeries. I like Boothy, I like Alistair Fagan as well. Uh, 44 teeth as a whole I like. So um, it, they've got a crowdfunding thing going for him because he's going to need lots of treatment. And he's going to struggle. He's going to struggle to pay his bills and everything. So uh, I paid some money into that the other night and I hope for Boothy's sake that he gets well soon. So yeah, come on, let's uh, get some more money for Boothy. They'd set a target of £20,000 uh, and I think they were up to thirteen and a half thousand uh, when I gave them some money. So I, I think 20000 doesn't really sound that much to be honest I think um, I think he's going to need a lot more than that so uh, yeah come on get your hands in your pockets oh, hell. I was channeling my inner boothie then f me <laughs> I wasn't expecting that boothie get out of my head now <laughs> that was a bit watery shall we hit it Some more water here. Oh, I wish I'd put my bloody boots on now. Can I get through the middle? Probably not. Get that bike mucky. Look at that. <laughs> the state of my jeans, my boots. Good job, my boots are waterproof. It looks good with a bit of muck on it, doesn't it? It's been clean for far too long, that bike has. Right, I'm not going nuts. I'll go this side because I know how deep it is. Excellent. it then folks so yeah thanks for coming with me on this uh, little ride out to test the Metzler Karoo 4s um, jury's still out over whether I like them or not I mean they're very competent doing the off-road stuff as you'd expect because that's what they're designed for um, not 100% certain about being on road with them at the moment. Got no confidence with them at the moment. Uh, hopefully that'll come. It's like I say, they're not even. Oh, they're not even um, bedded in yet. Let's have some Auto Sport 2. Right, I'll see you on the next video. Chippy Run next Saturday. That's a week today, 16th of June. It's the Chippy Run. So we're going to Skeg Vegas. Don't know how many people are coming. Hope if you're considering coming, then you know, hope you do. Hope you do. Because it should be an excellent little ride out. It's only about 65 miles. Bit of an interesting route going out there and then um, 
bit of a more conventional route to come home again but I guarantee it will be interesting riding you'll enjoy it I've been Jack Porter this has been Motor Mogul please remember to give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already and I'll see you on the next video cheers for now bye bye